got an Elemental container on the screen with a logo on the left hand side and a WordPress navigation menu on the right. This container is a thousand pixels and I've intentionally done that. I've gone and put in the menu which has quite a fair amount of items in there. Now what if you had more things in there and that menu starts to become a little bit too long. Now you could argue this looks okay. But imagine you're now losing a lot of the white space you've got there or maybe your logo is very horizontal. Wouldn't you like to split your menu into columns and all you've got to do is drop in a tiny bit of CSS code. It's super simple. Look, let's go over to the menu. At the moment it's set as horizontal. We have the option to go with vertical which now looks a little bit ridiculous. Or you could go for drop down which to be honest is okay on the tablet and the mobile not so good on the desktop i'm going to pop this back onto horizontal make sure you clicked on it go to the advanced tab and go down to where you have custom css and i'm going to drop in a little bit of code and just watch what happens to the menu the code quite simply splits the content into three columns look selector i'm not using a class name here column count three that's how easy it is if i go and change that to be a four you get one column, two column, three column, four. Can you see the gaps in between? Let's pop that back to three. Now at the moment it's still on one line. That's because the original menu is set as a horizontal and it is right aligned. Let's go and put it into vertical. You now have three columns and it is right aligned. So let's now go and make it left. And I know what you're going to say. It's crossing over into the logo. Don't worry. You just have to refine this. I'm going to set this to be 50% and you can now see it's gone over to the right hand side. It's split into three columns with a simple bit of CSS code. Now there's two things you could do to make this code even smarter. The first thing is to make sure this only occurs when you're on a desktop because when you get to the tablet or the mobile, you might not want it to look like this. If we go to the mobile view now and I do that, can you see what's happened? It looks ridiculously awful because it's still applying the column count three even on the mobile, even though we have a toggle box. So to get around that, go back over to your CSS and where you have your selector column count in front of it, now go and pop in the at media bit of code. The minimum width must be 768 before it applies the column count. Anything below 768 in width, don't apply it. So what happens is this is what you get on the mobile. It's nice and straight. You get over to the desktop and now the code activates, but we can make the code even more smarter because some browsers don't actually follow that coding. So what you need to do is add in a little bit extra. And these two extra lines here mean that it's now going to work on different internet browsers. So you don't have to use every little bit of code there. You might not want to use the app media. I think it's pretty useful, especially when you get over to the mobile. If you've got a menu that's really, really long and you now want to split it into columns, this is how simple and easy it is to do. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game.